EndNote on iPad, the browser and downloads. Touch the Settings button to set the home page for the built-in browser. Type in your preferred home page. Then touch the Done button. Touch the Web button to access the browser. As an example, I will search the PubMed database and import selected records into my library. Perform the search and begin the process you would normally use to import those references into EndNote. For PubMed, mark the records to import. Touch the Send To link. Select the Citation Manager option. Touch the Create File button. For PubMed, touch the Import to EndNote button because the file type is one which can be imported directly. Touch the Yes button to import the references. Touch the Done button to return to your library. The references will be imported into the Unfiled group. Touch the Action Items button to send them to another group. Select the records to move, or the Select All button to select all records in the group. Touch the Move To button. Select the group to move the records to. The new references will now appear in that group. Touch a record to see the details. You can also download files using the browser, then attach them to records. Touch the link to download the file in the browser. Touch the Download button. When the download is finished, touch the Done button to return to the library. The file will appear in the Downloads list. To attach the file, move to the bottom of the record and touch the plus button in the Attachments field. Touch the plus button in the File Attachment screen. Select Add from Downloads. Select the file. The file is added to the file attachments list for the record. Touch the Reference Editor Back button. Touch the Save button. Move to the bottom of the record to see attached files. Touch the file in the Attachments field to open it for viewing. Touch the Action Items button to email the file, open it in another iPad app, or print it. Touch the Annotations tool to apply annotations. Touch the Back button to return to the record. Yeah.